Well, salam, namaste, sastrikal, vanakam, came to and a very, very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Gamalia Foundation, I welcome all of you to the third MHM India Summit 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day and what makes everything so perfect is the presence of each one of you who have joined us from different parts of the country, you've joined us from different parts of India and we're so happy, so proud and delighted to have each one of you here with us, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very special day and the presence of all of you have made this day even more special for us. I'm your host MC Dharna and once again I extend a very very warm welcome to each and every one of you present out here and ladies and gentlemen let's start this very special day with a huge round of applause for all you wonderful people. Come on let's hear it for all of you. Well ladies and gentlemen the first, the third MHM India Summit 2023 is a platform to focus on an integrated approach which is much needed to ignite the society at large about the menstrual health and hygiene management. We have already successfully conducted two editions of the MHM Summit. One, the first ever edition of MHM Summit was conducted in Delhi itself in 2019 and the second edition was conducted in Chennai with over 250 delegates from all across the country and abroad. And ladies and gentlemen, today is the day, now is the time when we are here at the third edition of the MHM India Summit. And of course, uh, during last two uh, editions, it is just because of those two editions that uh, more like-minded organizations have joined hands in the MHM campaign with networking concept and making MHM peop a people's movement in the country. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'd like to extend a very, very warm welcome to all our dignitaries, all our speakers, exhibitors, delegates, sponsors, media partners, supporting associations and NGOs, each and everyone who has joined hands for the third MHM India Summit. So ladies and gentlemen, I have a question. Before we move forward, I have a question. Well, do you agree that the world period still holds a taboo in the society. The word period is still a taboo in the society. There are a lot of girls who do not go to school while they are on their period. A lot of girls in India drop out early from schools when they start menstruating. A lot of females in poverty-ridden nations or nations with less facilities, they prefer using harmful materials like paper, cloth, or so many other harmful materials while they are on their period, and they end up facing a lot of acute health problems. Ladies and gentlemen, if I talk about India, we have half of the women population which is of reproductive age and menstruation is a monthly reality. You agree with me or not? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the picture has to change because a lot of women are still deprived of the basic hygiene facilities and uh, they still face a lot of acute health problems. So awareness is required, facilities are required, and this is one platform which can bring change. We are here to make a difference at the third MHM India Summit. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start this day with welcoming our dignitaries on the stage. I would now like to take this opportunity to welcome our dignitaries on the stage, but let me now ask all of you, are you ready to get this day started? Yeah. Yes, no, maybe, are you ready to get this day started? Okay, perfect. So your wish is our command. Let's just do one quick thing before I call on the dignitaries on the stage, before we proceed with the lamp lighting ceremony. Let's just do one quick thing. Let's circulate some positive energy and let's get this day started. Ladies and gentlemen, turn to the person sitting on your left and smile for the next 10 seconds. And now turn to the person sitting on your right and smile for the next 10 seconds. Well, smile is the best medicine and trust me, it costs nothing. Okay, and with all this positivity, with all this positive energy, let's get this day started. As I now call on stage our dignitaries, I would request our dignitaries to please be seated on the dais. Ladies and gentlemen, I will start with welcoming His Excellency Mr. Freddie Swen, Ambassador of the Royal Danish Embassy. Well, he is 
Posted as the Danish ambassador to India, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, Maldives, and Nepal, he entered the Danish Foreign Services in 1982, and he has held several important positions, ladies and gentlemen. I would now welcome, with a huge round of applause, His Excellency Mr. Ruben Gachi, High Commissioner of the Republic of Malta. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he joined the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 20, uh, 2007. He is currently the High Commissioner of the Republic of Malta to India. He is also accredited as the High Commissioner of Malta to Maldives, Sri Lanka, and Bangladesh, and Malta's Ambassador to Nepal. So we also have uh, his spouse here with us, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome His Excellency Dr. Olga V. Gauci, spouse of the High Commissioner of Malta. Well, she is P PhD in Pedagogical Sciences, MA in Human Rights and Democratization. She's also the spouse to the High Commissioner of Malta. Ma'am, we're so happy to welcome you here with us today. I would now call on stage Ms. Nandita Mishra, IES, Senior Economic Advisor, DDWS, Ministry of Jal Shakti, Government of India, New Delhi. Ladies and gentlemen, she is an IES officer of the 1993 badge and is currently working as a senior economic advisor in Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation. Throughout her education career, she was recipient of National Merit Scholarship. She was also a GRF scholar under the coveted RBI chair. Ma'am, it is such a delight to have you here. Well, I would now call on stage Mr. Ravi Bhatnagar, Director, External Affairs and Partnerships, SOA Reckitt. Ladies and gentlemen, he leads the external affairs and partnerships at RECIT and is in charge of the Africa, Middle East, and South Asia regions where the interlinking of the issues of health, hygiene, and nutrition can be seen from close quarters. I would now call on stage Mr. S. Damodaran, the hut, the brain, and soul behind Gramalia, Patmashri awardee to 2022 founder and CEO of Gramalia, ladies and gentlemen. He has served the industry for more than 40 years. He's also a Padma Shri awardee, and we're so happy because it is under his vision and mission that we all have gathered here today. And last but not the least, let's welcome Ms. Preeti Damodaran, Organizing Secretary, MHM Director, Gramalia. I would also call on stage advocate Mr. Nandan Kumar Jha. He's the founder and secretary general, Gandhi Mandela Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome him with a huge, huge round of applause. He is the... He is the Secretary General of Gandhi Mandela Foundation and instituted Gandhi Mandela Awards, a prestigious international award established for promoting Gandhian and Nelson Mandela's value of community service and social development. So ladies and gentlemen, our dignitaries are here on the stage and before I request them to proceed for the lamp lighting, I request all of you to give them a huge round of applause. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the auspicious lamp lighting ceremony. I would request Mr. Subhash Manav, Project Director, North India, Gramalia, Mr. S. Chelya, Director, no, uh, New Delhi Municipal Council, Mr. Bindu Bhushan Dubey, National President, Akhil Bharatiya, Shanti Pratishthan, Global Goodwill Ambassador, Gramalia, to please escort our dignitaries for the lamp lighting ceremony. I would request our dignitaries to please proceed for the auspicious lamp lighting ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, this is indeed a very auspicious day as our dignitaries light the ceremony lamp and we get this day started. As our dignitaries light the ceremony lamp, we seek the blessings of Lord to move from darkness to light, from agony to happiness, and from ignorance to knowledge. Ladies 
ladies and gentlemen this marks the auspicious beginning and let's have a huge round of applause one more time for the auspicious beginning of the third mhm india summit 2023 thank you so much i'd request our dignitaries to please be seated well, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the context of this conference, well, this is a two-day conference, and this is going to comprise of proficient keynote presentations, panel discussions, case study presentation addressing the latest developments in the menstrual hygiene and management, adopting the best practices from both the traditional and modern sciences. The event will also facilitate one-to-one -one meetings for entrepreneurs and solution providers to exhibit their products, providing insights to the importance and efficiency of the integrated approach. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're here for some thought-provoking discussions amongst like-minded people, and we aim to make the next two days extremely engaging and enriching for each one of us present out here. Well, we, as I already mentioned, we aim to bring a change, and MHM India Summit is that platform which can bring a change in the society, in the mindset. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get this day started. And uh, well, the first and foremost, uh, I would now call on stage for his address. I would call on one person whom I always say is an inspiration for the MHM platform. He is the heart, the brain, the soul behind Gramalia. Ladies and gentlemen, before I request him for his address, I would request uh, our technical team to please play an AV. Video after this, not now. Okay because his action speaks louder than his words, and I am really keen to share it with all of you. But before we go on to the AV, let me now call on stage Mr. S. Damodaran, Padmashri Abodi, 2022 founder and CEO of Gramalia. His entire life has been dedicated to the mental hygiene management and upliftment of society in this regards, ladies and gentlemen. I know our applause is not just enough, but let's welcome him with a huge round of applause. Sir, <laughs> so, over to you. Thank you, Dana, for such a wonderful intro. Uh, a very good morning to all. Uh, Namaste, Delhi. Namaskar, Vanakkam. Um, I welcome on behalf of Gramalaya, uh, the, our friends on the dais uh, and our colleagues on the, and the dignitaries uh, in the auditorium. Um, let me extend my sincere thanks to you all. Such a winter period, very cold in Delhi. You all have come here. This is our third MHM summit. Uh, uh, we are now uh, conducting at Delhi. Uh, as you know, uh, the first MHM summit was at India Habitat Center organized by Gramalia in the year 2019. And in 2022 March, we have organized the second MHM summit at Chennai, SRM University, now the third MHM summit. Thank you so much uh, for all your gracious support in conducting this program. I welcome on behalf of Gramalia, Mr. Ravi Badnagarji, uh, one of our strong supporters of Gramalayas and in achieving our mission and vision. Thank you so much, sir, for coming all the way. Um, Rekit is one of our uh, major sponsors of this program, and uh, we are the major recipients of um, Rekit's um, um, school sanitation program in South India. Uh, I welcome you, sir. Uh, I welcome uh, Ms. Nandida Misra, madam, uh, from the Ministry of Jal Sakti. Uh, madam earlier worked with the corporate affairs uh, and uh, other foreign um, um, assignments. And uh, she has done a extensive work uh, in, the, in providing safe drinking water supply in India. And uh, we welcome you, madam. Thank you so much for your um, participation in our, in our session. Uh, I welcome um, our friend and our His Excellency, Ambassador of Mr. Freddy, Freddy Swain, my friend also for the past two years. Thank you so much, sir. We welcome you. Uh, I welcome uh, uh, Mrs. Spouse of Malta Embassy. Thank you so much, madam, for your coming. My sincere thanks to uh, Mr. Nandanja, advocate, um, who is the founder of 
Gandhi Mandela Foundation. Welcome, sir, with your friend. So I welcome all our um, delegates um, from throughout India. I hope people will be joining before our uh, tea break, and more people will be joining. Almost 180 people registered as delegates, and uh, 60 plus uh, speakers uh, also registered, and they confirmed their participation. Uh, within a month of our announcement, the entire slot of speaker slot filled, uh, filled, and 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 uh, more than uh, 150 speakers um, registered in our website. In fact, we need to close our website, the registration. But uh, more number of people are coming and joining with us. So my sincere thanks to all our dignitaries. Without you, the program would not be a very uh, successful program. And in fact. Um, over the last, there are um, friends uh, participating in all our th three summits. Uh, there is a great strength of our program. And uh, new people are, genuine new people are joining in our program. So before I uh, um, conclude my speech, um, my sincere thanks to all the Gramalaya family members. Uh, let me talk about a few words about Gramalaya. The first toilet construction was done by me. The, I have considered the first toilet at Kuppam village in the composite Andhra Pradesh state in 1985. That time, Rajiv Gandhi was the Prime Minister of India. Um, that was the Central Rural Sanitation Program. Uh, that was the first um, flagship program in the sanitation um, um, sector. Um, since then, um, till now, we have been engaged in constructing household toilets uh, in South India. Uh, more than 6 lakhs plus toilets were built by Gramalaya. Um, almost 40 years of my association in the sanitation sector. Um, the India's first village, uh, which was announced as open defecation free, was announced uh, in South India, in Trichapalli district, Thandombati. Um, that was with the CLTS approach uh, from Dr. Kamalkar. Uh, before uh, uh, the first village was uh, announced in Maharashtra state where I was on a part of the mission. Uh, uh, I, uh, after getting the training from Dr. Kamalkar from CLTS Foundation, um, uh, experimented one such 100% um, ODF village in South India. That was very well acknowledged by the World Bank in their um, booklet. Also, the f India's first open defecation free slum was announced in 2002. Uh, that was in Trichapalli City Corporation. So we have uh, um, um, working experience in both rural and uh, urban uh, Grameen program, uh, SBM program. Uh, that was the strength of our program. Almost central CRSP, then uh, total sanitation campaign, then Nirmal Bharat Abhiyan, now Swachh Bharat Mission program, Grameen as well as um, urban. So in all these programs, we have successfully demonstrated the villages and s cities um, where open defecation uh, was stopped and sanitized villages were announced under Clean Village Campaign in Tamil Nadu and South India. Um, apart from that, um, that uh, the toilet model we have introduced, the smart toilet model, which is bathroom attached, which is one of the India's um, 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 pioneering and innovative technology that is a zero, zero waste toilet, uh, where the both from wastewater also disposed for uh, raising kitchen cotton. Then um, soak pit is uh, used for uh, absorbing the liquid content of the toilet waste. Then uh, the human excreta became a humus, a compost inside the anaerobic process uh, in the leach pit toilet model we have promoted. The bathroom attached toilet we have promoted more than 60,000 in South India. The Puducherry state was announced as open defecation free state because of the contribution from Gramalaya. More than 26,000 household toilets were built in the Union territory. Uh, that was the great strength of our program. Um, between 1985 to till now, I have come across nine prime ministers flagship sanitation program, flagship program in the sanitation sector. And almost all the program, I have proved that every program introduced by the government of India centrally sponsored the sanitation schemes, a very good program, a sustainable program, user-friendly program, only the thing, the NGO should work in coordination with the local authorities and uh, ensuring participation from the people evolving their uh, contribution. These are the success stories uh, from Gramalaya, but I worked more than um, 
3.5 decades in the sector. Now, last seven years, we have been concentrating more on the menstrual hygiene. Let, uh, at, least, at, at last, only we came to know that menstrual hygiene is one of the important component uh, we should uh, uh, take as a focus area. Uh, wherever we have visited the schools, the schools were lacking water and sanitation facilities. Uh, no privacy for the adolescent girls while they are changing their sanitary napkins. Uh, no disposal facilities. Um, in the rural areas, the women and adolescent girls were not aware of menstrual hygiene uh, practices. These are the things we come across from the focus group discussions and our uh, rapid assessment in the rural and urban areas. And for the last two, seven years, we have been concentrating more on the menstrual hygiene management and nutrition program. And we are also uh, implementing our um, Detal Banega West India program in South India covering uh, six southern states with six of our partners. Uh, Gramalai is being the major uh, role played as a, uh, one of the coordinating organizations with Rekit, for which I am thankful to Rekit, sir. Really, we are doing a wonderful job in the uh, Banega West India program, uh, school program. Uh, thank you so much for our partner NGOs, also some of them are present here. Thank you. Uh, my sincere thanks to uh, Bindu Bhusan sir, uh, Chalaya sir from the Director of Horticulture from NDMC Center, uh, our, uh, our friend uh, Mr. Subhas Manav, uh, Mansi, and all our friends from uh, uh, Gramalaya's friends at Delhi. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, in fact, I have introduced the reusable washable cloth pads uh, in the year 2017. Uh, after coming ac come across that the sanitary napkins are not eco-friendly, they are spoiling our environment, uh, our water sources, our land, and our air quality. So that's why Gramalaya is taking up the menstrual hygiene uh, is one of our focus areas. Uh, the cloth pad we have introduced is myself experimented nearly two years after a lot of R&D. In fact, my wife and two of my daughters, Preeti and Priyanka, uh, were involved in the designing of the program. In fact, I have field tested the idea of the reusable cloth pads with my wife and my two of my daughters. Then, plus 100 of our women staff members working in Gramalaya. Then only we came to know that reusable and washable cloth pads are better, eco-friendly, women-friendly, pocket-friendly, and they can save our environment, save our water sources. That's why we are all present here. Uh, if you come across in the internet, now so many people, more than 100, 100 hundreds of people are involved in making a production of reusable, washable cloth pads. Some of them have in, uh, started introducing the menstrual cups, uh, which is better. Menstrual cups or um, reusable cloth pads, there's a lot of uh, deliberations is going on. Uh, really, if you click on the internet, you can see that um, the cloth pad I have introduced seven years ago is now top rated. In the uh, first among the, all the uh, cloth pads. And in Amazon, it got a five star rating, uh, more number of uh, positive comments. Um, these are all encouraging points for us. Not only uh, uh, we, we ourselves uh, uh, in, uh, working in, in promoting such a um, eco friendly products, I welcome all of you because you are also part of our team members. We learned a lot from you. It is a one, uh, the last two summit was very, very uh, encouraging for us. That's why we are organizing the third MHM summit here. And I could never miss one, every one of your presentations, every one of your discussions, because every, each and every presentation from you uh, as a delegate, as a, dele as a, as a speaker, uh, I would like to be a part of the two days, uh, next two days summit. Uh, thank you so much once again. Uh, without you, because uh, Gramala is only, only organizing this event. And that is our part. But more than two, three times you are spending for attending the summit. The delegates, the speakers, all came with, the, with their own travel expenses, with their own uh, accommodations, logistics, and also cold winter weather in this um, January in Delhi. Once again, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we are really honored by all your visit. Thank you so much. Indeed, it has been a very proud journey and a very emotional moment here that we are here at the inaugural ceremony of the third MHM India Summit. So it's indeed it has been a wonderful journey for Mr. S. Damodaran. And after this, it is now time that I request uh, Mr. 
Mr. Ravi Bhatnagar, Director, External Affairs and Partnerships, SOA, record for his address, ladies and gentlemen. We are so proud and delighted to have him here with us because Detol Banega Swast India program has been the principal sponsor of the third MHM India Summit and initiatives like these are much, much needed. So ladies and gentlemen, as I now request him for his address, let's give him a huge round of applause. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, friends on dice. Good morning, all the attendees. It's my privilege, like uh, I am there in between you today for this third MHM India Summit. In the last summit, I was in Chennai. Made some good friends, made some good progress from there till now. It was a summit after the COVID. A uh, lot of discussions were happening. Should we hold the summit? Should we host the summit or not? Times have been changing. Times have been challenging. Uh, but uh, we have been continuously striving to reach out to all the communities and with the fundamental thought of leaving no one behind. And we think like uh, I was in uh, some of the G20 discussions also over the weekend in the Constitution Club and in the various committees where I also talked about the gender. Uh, the whole G20 presidency of India should also be seen uh, when we talk about health and we should actually talk about health from the gender lens too. When I talk about gender, it's not just uh, binaries, it also includes the non-binaries. Uh, this whole, uh, you know, uh, summit is very well curated and uh, Detol is a hygiene brand. We, we have a long history of 100 years plus. Uh, my company started its business uh, in uh, late uh, 70s in uh, uh, Kolkata. It was uh, known as uh, Rakit and Coleman. Uh, it's a Dutch company, Anglo-Dutch company. And uh, from Rakit and Coleman, we became Rakit and Binkiza. And then from Rakit and Binkiza, uh, during the COVID time, we became Rakit. It doesn't mean like we are shrinking, we are becoming big. As India is uh, going to be a trillion dollar economy, uh, we were at number five position globally uh, in the Rakit universe for doing the business. Uh, uh, China was uh, much ahead of us, so we beat, we beat China. And now in the Rakit universe, like after the US, uh, record in India is uh, number two, which which makes us a more, which makes us more responsible, which makes us uh, uh, tend to do more purpose-led work in India. We have uh, various campaigns which we lead in India. Uh, one and the foremost is uh, the Detol Banega's First India campaign, uh, which reaches out to around 24 million kids across India. And I can proudly say, every eighth school in India out of ten is a user of any of the Detol products or is being invited or being a part of the hand washing campaign. Second big program is uh, by also our, one of our, uh, you know, uh, what do you say, power brand called Harpic. We have the Harpic Mission Sanitation and Water. We created the India Sanitation Preamble along with Gramale, along with Ministry of Jal Shakti, including with the Minister, with the Honorable Prime Minister. And when you go to the Rashtriya Swachhita Smarak, in Delhi, which is next to Rajkhan. So you will see the sanitation preamble, which has which been curated. It went to almost all the blocks, all the aspirational districts. We are now trying to take it to all the aspirational blocks also in India. And there's a long way to actually focus on the behavior change campaigns on water as well as sanitation both. Third is, uh, again, with the youth, youth focused uh, work what we do, which is the Durex birds and the bee stocks. So I was with the ambassadors of more than uh, 10 countries in Nagaland in the Hornbill Festival. A very proud moment again for us, like we are able to reach to around 4 million school kids on growing up curriculum, which is a very, very challenging subject in itself. Because there's a huge lobby which talks about not to talk about growing up with the kids. And sometimes it becomes very culturally sensitive topic too. So how you engage parents, how you engage uh, thought leaders, how you engage uh, political leaders, how you engage uh, religious leaders so that you can do something which is cross-cutting and which can be of a uh, great thing for the nation. And we see it as a nation-building agenda. So before I close, I want to personally thank uh, the CEO, Gramale Sainda Modran, who has been a very important force behind us. We have uh, Nandanji. I have uh, met him two weeks back. Uh, Nandanji, you are here, but I am missing Oscar more. Oscar is his pet. It's a, a Siberian husky, five years old. Uh, you know, uh, one thing, why, why I'm mentioning uh, his pet, because, you know, uh, 
petting itself is very important we love those uh, you know we want to keep along with us it's important we love everyone uh, there is lot of confrontation confrontation across the globe there's a peace which is required everywhere there's lot of conflict everywhere uh, there's a conflict between the users and the non users there is a conflict between the menstrual cup makers and the sanitary pad makers there's a conflict between the media and others there's a conflict between everyone so let's take this place also during the mhm third conference like we all work together as one family because there is one health in one planet and there is no planet b whatsoever we do under the summit together it should be for the planet by the planet and uh, best part is a woman force uh, who has been addressing is been a part of the gramale journey uh, i have uh, my mentors who will be virtually also joining the summit we have swami chinanan saraswati ji from rishikesh who will be joining us virtually and sadvi ji too uh, i am very sure like listening to them also like you will be very much enlightened thank you so much again for giving me this opportunity here thank you so much mr ravi patnagar for his wonderful address and thank you so much once again i'd like to thank on behalf of the mhm india summit for being the principal sponsor for the third mhm india summit well this wouldn't have been possible without your support in fact ladies and gentlemen i would also like to take this opportunity to thank all our uh, sponsors associates and each and every one who has joined in hands uh, to make uh, this summit a reality ladies and gentlemen i'd like to thank detol banega swast india our principal sponsor safe pad our associate sponsor geo care our associate sponsors and unops our supporting sponsor ladies and gentlemen it is because of their extended support that we all are here today and on this note let me now welcome our next speaker miss nandita mishra ies Senior Economic Advisor, DDWS Ministry of Jal Shakti, Government of India, New Delhi. Ma'am, I would now request you to please say a few words, ladies and gentlemen. She has a broad spectrum of experience covering various ministries of Government of India, ranging from Ministry of Labour to Ministry of Industry, Niti Aayog, Ministry of Urban Development, Women and Child Development, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, and now in Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation. We are so delighted and proud to have you here with us ma'am ladies and gentlemen let's welcome her with a huge round of applause as we request her to say a few words a very very good morning to you all it's indeed a very humbling moment for me i'm just one month old in the department of drinking water and sanitation coming from the so called high flyer ministry of corporate affairs and coming here has not only reignited me to my passion which is women and child development in the area in which i have worked immensely not only in government of india but with government of afghanistan also for many many years so this sector and this area is very very dear to me so it's like a homecoming for me being back in department of drinking water and sanitation and when i came to this uh ministry i always carried a movie vardaniya made by one of our uh, members sitting here mr adesh gupta that movie when it was screened in front of madam maneka gandhi and all of us we were all in tears it was about a girl child how and her journey how she is denied even before her birth there is discrimination against her so the ministry had come up as you all know with the scheme beti bachao beti padhao and the scheme wherever you go even a truck driver using the logo and it was so heartening and to see that not only the child sex ratio improved in the states like punjab haryana where there was like uh, and when we talk about child sex ratio can you believe we were always talking about the it was about the first child but when we well deeper if we consider a third girl child the ratio was not 700 800 per thousand it was 300 400 per thousand so imagine the discrimination so what it was the discrimination over a life cycle continuum it was not only before her birth she was discriminated during school she was discriminated in employment opportunities she was discriminated even i have seen some 
um, where they're buried. I've, the, the size and all of the burial ground was allotted to even Queens was much, much smaller. So, you know, the discrimination. And when I came here, I never understood. I thought it was only Har Ghar Jal. I understand water is the priority, but the Swachh Bharat Mission, Grameen, that component, and the ODF plus, I never knew when I was outside. I thought we have declared ODF all our villages, and the ODF plus component, and the plus is not a plus. It is plus, 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 plus. When I, when I started doing the work, it was on solid waste management, it was liquid, liquid waste management, it was fecal sludge management, it was grey water management, it was circular economy, it was Govardhan. I said, what? This ministry? I mean, and all we think it is Jaljivan mission. It is Jaljivan mission, Swachh Bharat mission, all together and prime ministers call for a circular economy, how to take about. And in this journey, I'm so humbled to have we have many, many key resource centers with us, and Gramale is one of the leaders, and I'm so happy that I have been invited here to learn. It is not what I speak, because we make very good policies, but policies, where do they, unless they're implemented well at the grassroots, there's no meaning to having very good policies. It is a two-way communication. We take inputs from you, we put the policies, of course, mon monetary incentives are there, but as Mr. Bhatnaga told, the CSR component, when the corporates come in, when the grassroots, the NGOs, it is all a joining hand movement. Unless we all join hands, we cannot succeed. I had a ready speech with me, but I feel so humbled. I don't want to read out anything. I wanted to tell you something that, that we have a Swatch Sarvekshan Grameen going on. And as usual, it is always Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh leading the way. Why is it? Why can't we have Mr. Moore, more Mr. Damodarans in the north also? Please, my hats off to him. But let's all join hands. All our key indicators show a much, much better result for the southern India. And as he has already told, they were the first ODF village, they had the first ODF block, they had the first ODF district. And um, the SSG 2023 is now on. I hope to see better results, let's see. And on the MyGov platform, we have initiated a menstrual hygiene film motsav. The purpose is not film. The purpose is, how can you make a film unless you are actually doing it? So it is to tag the journey in each of your village. And it was started on the 19th of November. It will go on till the 8th of March. But um, we have till now received already 1,275 entries. It's so heartening because each and every Gram Panchayat must be doing something to be able to showcase their achievements. So it is that journey, and unless we all come together, and another announcement I would like to make, on the eve of the International Women's Day, we are proposing a Swachh Sujal Shakti Sanman, where we are going to felicitate the women change makers who are part of the journey from the, yeah. It, they will be um, from the Gram Panchayat, be it a Sarpanch or a Swachagrahi or a Jal Vahini, Jal Dut, and even our sister uh, department, which is the Namami Gange and Water Resources, even they are going, it will be a joint event, and uh, most probably Honorable President would be uh, felicitating these uh, women Sarpanches and the women change makers from the grassroots. And uh, we, are, we would be writing to the states today to start sending in the nominations. I hope uh, the contributions in your uh, areas are also appreciated. Look forward to seeing more, more such interactions and joining hands movement because I was so ashamed when uh, the Honorable Ambassador asked, so you're 30 year old in Government of India, so you have changed everything. I said, I'm sorry, the movement is on. We are, the change process is on, it's never over. India, we, it's such a huge country. Any good do, effort we make is just not enough. So 
even the momentum has to increase. We have to really, really, and the onus is not only with the government, it is with you all. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. God bless. So much, ma'am. It is indeed incredibly well said uh, that unless we all join hands, we cannot succeed. Thank you so much for gracing this occasion. And ladies and gentlemen, I would now request His Excellency, Mr. Freddie Swain, Ambassador of the Royal Danish Embassy, to please uh, join me here on the uh, stage and say a few words, ladies and gentlemen. He is currently posted as the Danish Ambassador to India, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, Maldives and Nepal. He entered the Danish Foreign Services in 1982 and he has held various important positions since then. And today we are so fortunate and delighted to have him here with us. Sir, a few words from you and ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome him with a generous round of applause. Indeed, of course, I'm extremely delighted to be invited for this uh, third conference. Uh, and some summit is even called. But I'm also here with a little bit of mixed feelings because menstruation is something which is a natural thing. It's part of uh, our world. It's part of women's world, girls' world. It's our part of men's world. And still, we need to organize summits that will address these things. It's a little bit shameful, uh, I have to admit, because why should we be here? We have so many good efforts spread across the world, the planet, where we are addressing tons of issues from climate changes to water scarcity and whatever and whatnot. Innovation is there. We can even soon send people to Mars. We can send people to the space station. And yet we are discussing menstruation and menstrual hygiene. That's really a little bit uh, surprising. I'm the proud father of three girls and one son, but three girls. So my life, my life, ladies and gentlemen, my life has always been around their periods because it came, of course, once in a month and it was uh, every day, every night and so forth. I was born in a family of three sons. We never discussed this kind of thing. It was for the girls and uh, whatever happened, it was their responsibility. But today, things have changed. Recently, your Honorable Prime Minister launched Mission Life that was about how to onboard the human beings in the fight against climate changes. One day, I hope we'll have a mission for women where we are really focusing on taking away this taboo. We should do away the, with the taboo, and it's so important. It's not only for me being an ambassador or my good friend Damaran and others sitting here on the dais to address all these issues. It should come naturally and we should really not be meeting too often to discuss these kind of things. But reality is different, of course, and we have to discuss this. I've been to many, many places, not only in India but across the world where I've seen the taboo related to menstruation and women's and girls' maturity. And it's a bit strange that we haven't come further in our trajectory. But the good hope is that a ton of lot of things are happening. We are talking about it. I don't think if I was ambassador 20 years ago, I would have st stood on a dais addressing uh, issues related to menstruation and menstrual hygiene. That was not part of our world. Now things have changed, and thanks to all the good people, role models, and I can't, not only in India, but beyond, for addressing these issues. How can we afford to have a world where we need each and every of us to develop new ways of living, to build up respect for humanity, and yet half of the population will have an issue where we are not really addressing all the challenges? So it's a bit shameful, but the hope is there. And uh, this, uh, Vinod, Vinod, can you bring me the red uh, back? Sorry, I have a, a good friend from uh, UNOPS. He will help me. <laughs> As I said, 20 years ago, I would never ever have been standing with this kind of thing in my hands. No. 
ambassador would ever have done that. And it's not about where it comes from. No, no, Jan, we'll take it out here. You see, this is what we need. This is what we have to address. That's part of our life. It's part of our planet. It's part of our future. I was told that this is combining the fight against plastic. I was born in the era of plastic fantastic, and literally I have no taste for waste. But to see that this, this, this part of this fabric is based on polyester, so it's recyclable. So a topic, an issue that we normally never will address, namely menstruation, Suddenly, it's also part of the circular economy, and we are combining a lot of different challenges that we have. Will that ever go away? No. Luckily, will plastic go away? Hopefully, but as far as we can, we should really recycle it and use it. So my hope is that next time this is not red, so perhaps it, there's a reason for it, but it should be green, because whatever we are doing, has to be sustainable, also when it comes to menstrual hygiene and menstruation and the role of the women. And I dare say that women and girls are our future. Without you, I would never have been born, I would never have been here. Many of you would never have been here. So women and empowered women, girls, you are our future. Without you on board, we will never be able to change. Have we ever been able to address some of the big issues without kind of push from our wives, our girls, our grandmothers and so forth, and all the generations before? No. So, men, males like me, we are in our own comfort zone. We discuss politics and how to do X, Y, set of things, and we don't care, at least, until recently, we did not care about too much. But those who are really being our daily conscious, that's the women and the girls. So I wish this uh, summit all the best. And I express a very sincere hope, sorry, Mansi and Subash, that this is the last summit. Because why should we have a summit about something which is natural and part of life? So let's put, let's put a Period to the period. Daniel Watt, thank you very much indeed. Well, thank you so much, His Excellency, Mr. Freddie Swen. Well, he already had our hearts when he say that women are the future, the girls are the future of the country. Thank you so much, sir, for your address. And after this, it is now time that I invite on stage Her Excellency, Dr. Olga V. Gauchi. She is here with us today. She's taken out time from her busy schedule, and we're so happy to have her here. She is the spouse to the high Commissioner of Malta, and we're so fortunate and delighted to have her here. Thank you so much, ma'am, and a few words from you. Thank you very much for this honor of inviting me to join uh, this wonderful summit, uh, which is very important, move towards the uplifting the rights of women and all the people who menstruate, definitely so. And thank you, Your Excellency, for your inspiring words about including men into this discussion. It's very important. It's unbelievable that in the 21st century we uh, need to talk about this, but sur surprisingly we never talked properly about it, right? So this is the time, and we uh, just by talking about menstruation, we already solve a lot of problems, I believe. There is a lot of work uh, in this regard, but just uh, by openly talking about it, we already do very well today. Uh, so uh, I would like to read a few words from my husband. Uh, he sent me right now. I feel shy to read them. They are too good. I don't feel shy uh, talking about menstruation, but I will read what my husband sent. So... Uh, uh, he expresses the full support to the summit uh, on behalf of the High Commission of Malta and uh, his words, Dear audience, it's my greatest pleasure to send my better half and definitely my most experienced delegates to this important conference. I am referring to my wife, 
whose present, presence here in India has been well noted by people like uh, Mr. Subhashmanov and his team and many others. She is Malta's face as much as I am, and she is also becoming knowledgeable about India and the amazing and deeply rooted Indian culture, which is a treasure for the whole world. So those are words of my husband, and now a few words from my side. Uh, once more, thank you for organizing this summit and uh, talking uh, means really a lot concerning the subject. Uh, talking about menstruation from the physical aspect, uh, I should mention that this is a just a regular human bodily function. And it's not a privilege, but it's not a shame either. So we should uh, consider it as a normal uh, human bodily uh, pro process, right? Yeah. And uh, no one is ashamed by talking about a cut of the finger or whatever, like asking for a, uh, a help. But no one will mention that uh, a person, she, or any other person who menstruates uh, needs a pad. And I'm talking from my own experience. Uh, it was quite a shameful uh, uh, thing to uh, notify a PE teacher, for example, that you cannot uh, have a proper lesson today due to your period. And uh, we are raising a daughter. And I know that sometimes it's a, a shameful topic, even amongst the girls, to mention that they have menstruation. Uh, and it's not only in India, I think it's all around the world. It's a very intimate issue and uh, by helping women, girls and other people, menstruating people to uh, eliminate all shame uh, in this regard, uh, it's a very noble deed. I believe we should support everyone who still feels shy talking about it. Uh, and I would like to quote uh, Maya Schwartz, I really liked what she said. She said, menstruation is the only blood that is not born from violence, yet it's the one that disgusts you the most. It shouldn't be like that, definitely. And uh, uh, the shame uh, which is caused by menstruation, by talks, but by thoughts, it affects not only uh, reproductive health, uh, but also mental health. And uh, healthy mothers, sisters, daughters, it's a healthy society. So every man, every father, brother uh, should support women in this regard uh, by openly talking about this. It's very important. Uh, and uh, increasing awareness about menstrual hygiene, not only amongst adolescent girls and women, but also amongst men. And uh, I really liked what uh, His Excellency Freddy said, uh, and uh, it's very important. It's a huge step uh, uh, forward. Uh, to, uh, uh, so also, um, um, regarding social aspect of menstruation, we should mention that it's very important also that it's a human right. Menstruation, it's a human right, and uh, it's fundamental to the equality and dignity of individuals who menstruate. It's very important. Includes uh, privacy, inclusivity, access and education, and access to health information and also access to care, which is very important. Uh, unfortunately, it's still not a priority, and we need to eliminate any shame associated with uh, having periods. It's very important. So, and uh, talking about spiritual aspects, um, I would like to mention one great son of India, Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar, educator and reformer, who proved uh, um, his thoughts by just introducing what he believed in in his family. So he married off his son to a widow. Uh, so he really proved that he believed in what he was talking about. And I encouraged every, I encourage, I would like to encourage every man to support the women surrounding uh, by uh, giving a helping hand in this regard. Uh, and also, uh, it's very important to mention that I am enchanted by the nature of Indian people, by generosity, and I'm very happy to live in India. The more I live in India, the more happy I feel, and I love your country.
you are very generous people, very uh, passionate people, and uh, you are passionate about your roots and culture. I, I respect it very much. And I believe that uh, in regard of menstruation hygiene, uh, a lot of steps can be done also. So, because you are very tolerant people, and I believe that this kind of tolerance will be practiced at home also, because charity starts at home. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much, ma'am, for your wonderful and inspiring words. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time that I call on sp uh, stage our next speaker, advocate Nandan Cha. He's the founder and secretary general, Gandhi Mandela Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, Gandhi Mandela Foundation uh, has conferred its first uh, award to His Holiness, the 14th the Dalai Lama. And ladies and gentlemen, it is our honor and privilege to have here with us, Advocate Sri Nandan Cha. Sir, a few words from you before we conclude the inaugural session. Namaskar, dignities on and of the dais. His Excellency, Governor of Royal Dennis, Freddy Sir. Her Excellency, Dr. Olga. Her Excellency from Malta, the founder, organizer of Gramalaya, Mr. Namodaranji, your daughter, yeah. my close friend and the real warrior in this, Ravi Bhatnagarji, my close friend in Delhi. Subhash Manoji and your little daughter, Chalaya Ji, NDMC director. Yeah, Nandan and uh, I met another uh, Nandini Ji, Nandita Mishra Ji. So, Nandita Mishra Ji ko Nandan Jhaka Namaskar. Uh, Samay thoda kam mila aapko is department mein, lekin kaam bohat bada hai. Pujya Swami Abdeshanand Giriji Maharaj, who is our chairman of Gandhi Mandela Foundation, I want to welcome you all and the whole team of the Gramalaya very much. They have understood the Gandhi Mandela Foundation that we can talk about the topic of Gramalaya today. For this, I want to thank the whole team of the Gramalaya. I want to thank the whole team of Gramalaya. ग्रामलया अगर शब्द की बात करे तो गांव निकला और महात्मा गांधी के शब्दों में कहें कि गांव में ही इस देश की आत्मा निवास करती है ग्रामलयन जो तीन विषय सोचा अपने नाम के साथ जो जोड़ा वाटर सैनिटेशन एंड तीसरा है हाइजीन सैनिटेशन स्वच्छता अगर इसकी बात करें स्वच्छता गांधी जी के जीवन का अभिन्न अंग था इतना इंपॉर्टेंट था कि उनको लगता था स्वराज मिलके करेंगे क्या ऐसा राष्ट्र जो गंदगी से भरा होगा तो ऐसे राष्ट्र को क्या करेंगे स्वराज लेके तो स्वराज को वो स्वच्छता से और स्वच्छता को स्वराज से पहले जोड़ते थे ये ग्रामालय का मूल मंत्र है सैनिटेशन और ये गांधी जी की आत्मा थी एक घटना याद दिलाऊंगा आपको साउथ अफ्रीका की वो घटना तो सबको याद है जब ट्रेन से गांधी जी को बाहर फेंक दिया गया था ब्लैक कह के लेकिन जिसको फेंका गया था वो एक एडवोकेट थे लेकिन जो उठा वो एक सत्याग्रही गांधी थे गांधी जी को जब जेल में डाला गया तो उनके सामने एक विषय आया कि उस समय जो जेल में होते थे उनको कैदियों को साफ सफाई करनी होती थी और साफ सफाई में शौचालय शौचालय वहाँ पे भी कोई साफ नहीं करता था तो जेलर उनके पास एक फरियाद लेके आया क्योंकि वो उस वक्त भी लीडर थे एक लीडर के रूप में ही तो जेल गए थे तो उनके पास एक फरियाद लेके आया कि क्या मुझे दो व्यक्ति मिल सकता है जो स्वच्छालय को साफ कर सके टॉयलेट को क्लीन करना था 
तो गांधी जी ने कह रहा पहला तो मैं हूँ दूसरा मैं देखता हूँ कौन हो सकता है तो उन्होंने दूसरे की इंतजार नहीं की पहले खुद एक बाल्टीन लिए झाड़ू लिए और वो शौचालय को साफ़ करने के लिए निकले देखते ही देखते पूरा जेल उनके साथ मिल गया और इस तरह से सैनिटेशन की पहली शुरुआत हमारे फादर ऑफ नेशन ने साउथ अफ्रीका के जेल में की कहते हैं लीडर ऐसे ही कोई नहीं बनता मैं बचपन से गाना गाता था सपथ ले ना तो शरल है पर निभाना ही कठिन है साधना का पथ कठिन है साधना का पथ कठिन है ये साधना है ये ऑर्गेनाइजर जानते होंगे कि किसी भी कार्यक्रम को करने के लिए कितनी साधना की ज़रूरत पड़ती है कार्यक्रम में वो जो ऑर्गेनाइजर होता है वो सबसे आखिरी सीढ़ी पे होता है बाकी सब पहले होते हैं सो so, आप इस साधना को लेके आगे बढ़े हैं और इस साधना में आपको जिन लोगों ने भी सहयोग किया है उनके लिए भी एक जोरदार तालियां मैं हमारे मित्र रवि भटनागर जी की भी एक बात करता हूं आपको इस मिशन की शुरुआत करते हैं क्योंकि हम स्वच्छता की बात कर रहे हैं आप देखिए डिटॉल बनाएगा स्वच्छ इंडिया मतलब डिटॉल को उन्होंने स्वच्छ इंडिया से ऐसे जोड़ा और अमिताभ बच्चन साहब उसके एम्बेसडर बने दस सालों से स्वच्छता स्वच्छ मंत्रालय मुझे नहीं लगता कि भारतवर्ष में डिटॉल एंड हार्पिक ने जो स्वच्छता के साथ अपने आप को जोड़ दिया है ये उनके अमूल्य अंग बन गए हैं इस देश का सबसे बड़ा कैंपेन और हमारे प्रधानमंत्री जी जब पहली बार लाल किला से भाषण दे रहे थे तो उन्होंने कहा कि क्या हम गांधी के वंशज गांधी के लोग गांधी जी के 150वीं जयंती को स्वच्छ भारत के रूप में मना सकते हैं और यकीन मानिए कि दुनिया की बहुत सारी कंपनियों ने देश से बहुत कुछ लिया है हमारे देश में भी कंपनी ने हमारे देश से बहुत कुछ लिया है वो आते हैं लेकिन पहली कोई कंपनी है लंदन की जो आई है हमको देने के लिए भी एक जोरदार तालियां ऐसी कंपनी के लिए जो गांधी जी के उन मिशन को जमीन तक सार्थक तक पूरा करते हैं जब हम बात करते हैं तो ये नहीं बात करते हैं कि लॉयला स्कूल में क्या करना हिंदू स्कूल में क्या करना ये कहते हैं चंपारण में क्या करना गांधी जी ने जो भी विषय अपने लिए उठाया उनका मूल मंत्र था कि बच्चों को जब तक हम एजुकेट नहीं करेंगे समाज एजुकेट नहीं होगा और इसके कारण द्वितीय विश्व युद्ध के पहले उन्होंने बुनियादी विद्यालय की स्थापना की चंपारण में बुनियादी विद्यालय की हालत बहुत खासता थी चरमरा सा गया था जब उनको आप देखेंगे पुरानी इमेज गांधी मंडेला फाउंडेशन के वेबसाइट पे आप मिलेगा खंडर बन गया था वो स्कूल जिसको महात्मा गांधी ने खुद से बिल्ड किया और जहां माँ कस्तूरबा पढ़ाती थी दट्स बिकम अ खंडर नाउ गांधी मंडेला फाउंडेशन एंड सम वन सपोर्टिंग अस लाइक अ कॉर्पोरेट हाउस वी आर टूगेदर बिल्डिंग दैट इंस्टीट्यूशन दैट स्कूल्स और हम आपको आज बताते हैं इस मन से कि हम उसको एक आइडियल स्कूल बनाएंगे भारतवर्ष का जो गांधी जी का सपना था आ, हर व्यक्ति आ, संस्था जो भी किसी न किसी रूप में एक आग्रह करेंगे यू आर आर प्राउड पद्मश्री विनर मिस्टर दामोदरन जी स्वच्छता और सैनिटेशन ने सरकार ने बहुत अच्छा हमको एक मिरर दिया है गांधी जी का जिससे स्वच्छता दिखता है मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि अगले बार गांधी जी की चश्मा आप जरूर लगाएं पीछे ग्रामालय के साथ उसको अपना आप एंथम बना ले गांधी जी हैं और भारतवर्ष ने देश ने और मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में वो गांधी के चश्मा से जो स्वच्छ भारत दिखाया ये स्वच्छता सब कुछ कह देता है आप भी उसे अपने साथ साथ करें आज इस मिशन पे तीन ये थर्ड आपका सबमिट है पहले दो सबमिट में मुझे उसका भागीदारी बनने का सौभाग्य नहीं प्राप्त हुआ 
आज मिला है और मैं आपको बहुत बहुत बधाई देता हूं पूरी टीम को बधाई देता हूं कि अगला कल तक ये सम्मिट चलने वाला है तो आप सबको गांधी मंडेला फाउंडेशन की तरफ से बहुत बहुत बधाई गांधी जी के सपनों को ग्रामालय के रियल मिशन को स्वच्छता को वाटर को सैनिटेशन को आप जमीन तक लेके जाएं और जैसे आपने अपने बातों में बताया कि ये 80 से प्रारंभ है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि आज किसी को देख के आपने उसका अनुसरण किया आपने इसको अपना मिशन बनाया और देश ने भी आपको पद्मश्री से नवाजा है सो so, बहुत बहुत बधाई और ये काम आप ऐसे ही सुचारू रूप से चालू रखें आपको और आपके सारे सहयोगी को उन सारे कॉर्पोरेट कंपनी को जो आपके इस मिशन में आपके साथ हैं उन सबको भी दिल से बधाई धन्यवाद नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं धन्यवाद कहना चाहूंगी एडवोकेट नंदन झा का जिन्होंने राष्ट्रपिता श्री महात्मा गांधी की सोच हम सबके साथ साझा करी जिन्होंने स्वच्छता को स्वराज के साथ जोड़ा था और इसी के साथ वी नाउ कंक्लूड द इनोग्रल सेशन एंड लेडीज एंड जेलमैन आई वुड नाउ कॉल ऑन स्टेज मिस्टर सुभाष मानव प्रोजेक्ट डायरेक्टर नॉर्थ इंडिया ग्रामालय मिस्टर एस Chelya Director New Delhi Municipal Council Mr Bindu Bhushan Dubey National President Akhil Bharti Shanti Pratishthan Goodwill Ambassador Gramalaya to please join us up the stage and felicitate our dignitaries as this is a very very memorable moment as we now come to the end of the inaugural session for the third MHM India Summit 2023 i would now request his excellency mr freddy swen ambassador of the royal danish embassy to please step forward for the felicitation and i would request all three of you to please do the honors so for joining us here we are so happy to have you here Thank you so much, uh, His Excellency, Mr. Freddy Swen. I would request all three of you to please be here. I would now request Her Excellency, Dr. Olga V. Gauchi, to please step forward and receive a felicitation on behalf of Gramalia. at the third mhm india summit ladies and gentlemen let's give her a huge round of applause thank you so much ma'am for sparing out time from your busy schedule and joining us here I would now request Ms Nandita Mishra IES Senior Economic Advisor DDWS Ministry of Jal Shakti Government of India New Delhi to please step forward for the felicitation Well thank you so much ma'am for joining us here and thank you so much for your uh, insightful and inspiring address. I would now request Mr Ravi Patnagar Director External Affairs and Partnerships SOA record to please step forward for the felicitation.
Ladies and gentlemen, Detal Banega Sports India has been our principal sponsor for the third MHM India Summit and we are so delighted to have them here. Thank you so much. I would now request Advocate Nandan Cha, Founder and Secretary General, Gandhi Mandela Foundation to please step forward for a felicitation. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us here. And I would now request Mr. Subhash Manav, Mr. S. Chelya, and Mr. Bindu Pushin Dubey to felicitate one person who is with a mission and vision, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely not complete without felicitating Mr. S. Damodaran, Padma Shri Awardee 2022, founder and CEO, Gramalia. They've been doing incredible work and they've brought all of us here at the third MHM India Summit 2023. Well, thank you so much. And before we conclude this session, I have something very special to share. Ladies and gentlemen, in his address, Mr. S. Damodaran has highlighted about the work they've been doing, the small steps that have led to big change. The small steps that have led to a big change. So before all of us disperse from here for a tea break, I would request our dignitaries to please stand for a group picture. And then we would like to show you an AV of the wonderful work that Gramalia Foundation has been doing. So let's first have the group picture. These are very memorable moments for all of us here at Gramalia. And uh, definitely this calls for so many memorable pictures because this indeed is a very, very memorable moment for all of us. So once again, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all our dignitaries for sparing our time from their busy schedule and joining us here. It indeed has been a wonderful opportunity for us to hear from all you wonderful people. Thank you so much. Now, I would